Good afternoon. It's Doug from Vermont Hoyas, and we're going to try a little experiment here. Normally, I don't have much trouble um, rooting Hoyas, but with this particular Hoya, I've had a huge amount of trouble. This is the white Hoya Bella, Hoya species AFF Bella PES03. And one of my viewers suggested that I try a powdered rooting hormone as opposed to the um, gel that I normally use. Um, I was actually going to try to do an experiment and do half of these with the gel and half with the powder to see what would happen, but I decided it's not worth taking a chance because these white Hoya Bella are so incredibly rare that um, I've tried this in the past and I've had the gel and I've had really bad luck. So this is going to be I'm um, just going to be trying it with the powder today. I've already filled these little net pots with pre-moistened soil and I poured some of this um, rooting powder into this little um, cup. So we're going to try to to root some of these and I will um, update this on a monthly basis to find out if I'm successful or not. This will be a huge, huge coup for me if I'm able to to root this because I'd really like to be able to share this uh, in the Hoya world because I don't think there's very many if any of these in the US. Okay so first thing I'm, I'm going to make a clean cut on these cuttings using a razor blade so I get the cleanest cut possible. I'm also using a longer cutting than I normally would use just because I've had such bad luck with these using small cuttings in the past. And I'm also removing the first couple of leaves here. Okay. Okay. Then I'm taking these and I'm going to put them in my homemade propagation chamber. And coincidentally, all of these other cuttings that are in here are Hoya lithophytica. And both of these, the White Bella and Hoya lithophytica, were discovered by the same person in Thailand. So I think it's kind of appropriate that they're going to be rooting together. And on the lithophytica, I also used a rooting powder. So in about a month, we're going to hopefully have a lot of roots emerging from these these pots that would be ideal if it doesn't work the leaves will begin to yellow and fall off and I'll get no rooting that's what's happened to me in the past so that's it for now we'll be back in a month good morning it's Doug for Vermont Hoyas it's September 23rd 2018 and I'm back about 30 35 days after my rooting experiment with rooting powder hormone rooting powder with um, Hoya lithophytica and one of the toughest Hoyas I have ever tried to root in my life, the white Hoya Bella. I was hoping to come back after 35 days and show you that I had very good luck using the rooting powder. I, I used the suggestion by one of my viewers that rooting powder might be the way to go as opposed to the, um, the rooting um, gel. And I can say unequivocally that the experiment was a resounding <laughs> failure. Um, you can see I have taken all of these out of the soil and 100% failure. Not one of these things showed any signs of rooting. Um, so my hope of someday being able to share the white Bella, um, it looks like it's, it's not to be. This is the, um, and these were nice long cuttings and everything, and they still, they still failed. Here's the original plant, which I am going to be transplanting. I won't do it on camera, but I'll come back and show it after I've, I've transplanted it. But the, the only good thing to come out of this is one of the uh, um, stems that I cut it has shown some new growth on the end. Now, Hoya lithophytica, um, pretty much they all look good um, it's pretty much 100% success but I think I would have had you can see the roots beginning to grow out of the bottom of this um, but 
I would have had probably that same success whether I used a rooting hormone or not. So, um, but it just proves the absolute difficulty of trying to root that white bella. So anyway, this, I just wanted to come back. I was hoping to come back with a success story, but I have to show you the, the bad along with the good. Hi, I'm back really quickly. I have repotted the white Hoya Bella, and I don't know if it will um, make any difference or not, but the best of the, um, the cuttings that were left over that didn't root, the ones that had some life left in them, I just uh, I pulled off a few of the bottom leaves and inserted them into the mix to go along with the, the mother plant. Maybe being right next to the mother plant and um, cooler conditions, who knows, it's going to go in my window upstairs and we'll see if that roots or not but um, anyway that's the that's the mother plant so I don't think I really did any harm to that but I really was disappointed in the in the rooting powder as because I had hoped to share these Hoyas and um, I was unable to you, these these two are so desiccated and dried out that there's no point in trying to do anything with those so that's it I'll be back really soon with another Hoya and hopefully um, a success story the next time we visit.